so on my son's uh, 2013 Camaro, um, it's got a little bit of a rough idle. It's it, it's direct fuel injected, and as a lot of people know, you know, after you get a few miles uh, on those direct injected engines, they can start running a little rough. Um, this got a slight rough idle to it. Um, probably needs the intake or the uh, valves cleaned. Before I do that, I want to exhaust everything, you know, all other possibilities. So I'm going to uh, do an injector balance, and I thought I'd show you how this Autel uh, scanner uh, does an injector balance on, on these Camaros. And it's I'm sure it's probably similar on a lot of other direct-injected engines. Um, so I've already got the scanner pulled up. Um, again, it's a 2013 Camaro with, with the V6. And uh, we'll just go ahead and, and run through it. So I'm going to click injector. Fuel system, fuel injector balance. <clears throat> Continue. Start engine. And so it comes up and it shows all the injectors already uh, so what you do is if you see down here at the bottom you've got all your cylinders if you got a V8 you're gonna have eight of those little icons and with the with the engine idling you're just gonna hit the first one and I know you guys can't probably can't hear it but it act it literally kills that injector for a specific amount of time and it measures how much of a pressure drop there is um, it, it probably doesn't kill it completely but it pulses it at a different rate I'm not I'm not sure but what you're looking for is how much of a pressure drop um, that it has for that how much how much of a pressure drop that particular injector causes in the fuel rail and that's how you kind of know you know, if all injectors are, are hitting, you know, pretty equal, you know, if the, so if you think about it, if you, if you had one that was literally completely plugged up, but even, even though you would know something's wrong with the engine, cause it's going to be running very bad. Um, you know, if the, if the computer went to kill that injector, there would literally be no pressure drop at all. So what you would see up here on the uh, screen is zero. There would be no no difference in the uh, fuel pressure uh, drop. So what you're looking for, obviously, is a fuel pressure drop. And ideally, what you would want is a fuel pressure drop equal across all injectors. Um, so as you can see, injector one, we had about a 61 PSI drop, two, a 66, three, a 56. And you really kind of need to do this more than once because the computer is only so quick at picking up the, you know, the, the, the pressure uh, drop. So... After you finish doing this, you may actually notice, you know, for instance, cylinder three is showing a 56 PSI drop. All the others are basically in the 60s. Um, if you did cylinder three again, okay, we're at 56 there. We'll do cylinder three again. We'll see what it comes up as. So now it's 61. And, and and what that is is the 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 car's computer's only so fast at measuring the pressure drop. Um and whatever it you know displays up here is whatever it read for that you know that millisecond uh that it decided to you know to to, to read the, the pressure. So it's a good idea to do this two or three times. If you consistently get a 
low pressure on a particular cylinder, for instance, three, if three kept coming up, let's say in the 50s, um, then, you know, that'd be a pretty good indication that, that injector three is probably, uh, you know, partially clogged, at least a little bit more uh, dirty or plugged up than the other injectors. Uh, these injectors for these direct injected cars are, uh, they're a lot more expensive than a non-direct injected uh, engine. So, it's a good idea to run uh, top tier fuel uh, in, in these cars. Um, I don't do any additives. I, I've I don't know. If, I don't believe that additives really do a whole lot for anything. You know, unless it's something that you can continuously run through. And a top tier fuel has actually got additives in it. So, if that's all you run is top tier fuel, you're continuously going to be you know. Uh, doing everything in, that you can uh, to keep your injectors clean. Uh, you can get on the web on the internet, and if you actually do a search, uh, probably just for top tier fuel, there's a website that will tell you every. I'll, I'll put the link uh, in this video, but there's a website that tells you all the different uh, suppliers that have top tier fuel. Um, I usually use QT. All QTs are top tier fuel. The Valeros are top tier fuel, and and a lot more others. The Valero and QT is what I have close to me, so I'll, I'll, I use both them mainly just for for this car. The other cars we have are not direct injected, so I I'll, I dump anything in them. It doesn't matter. Uh, the people that know me know that I had a, a 1992 uh, Chevrolet Silverado. I had over 500,000 miles on it. Uh, I ran the cheapest gas I could find. I don't care where it came from. And I never replaced an injector, never had a plugged injector. That engine still ran like it was brand new. Had over 500,000 miles on it. Um, I never ran any kind of injector cleaner through it. But again, that was not a direct injected engine. Um, but you do want to try to keep the injectors of these um, direct injected engines as clean as possible for as long as possible if you want them to to perform and and run the way they they're supposed to so um again this is just a simple test that you can kind of check the the health of your um injectors uh, it's a simple test you can do um to kind of check to see how much uh your injectors you know may be plugged up uh, again, this is a 2013 Camaro with the V6. Uh, it'd be the same test on a V8, and a lot of other manufacturers uh, have this same test, or a sim similar test that you can do. Um, anyway, that's about all I got. Later.